So let's go from this to uh, this image and let me show you how to do that. Now there's quite a few steps that we need to take. So let's start with the basics, which is the exposure one. We don't need an extra instance because in this case we can just adjust the settings here. Now, what I want to do is I want this to be as close as possible to the top edge and this as close as possible to the lower edge, which means I want to increase the exposure a bit and I want to increase the black point a bit because increasing the black point drags this down, decreasing it pulls it up, but let's drag it down and then move on to the next one, which is the color balance RGB module, which is a module I practically use in all of my videos because it just has so many options for you to work with. Now, this image lacks some contrast, so I want to add that in. And we're going to add in some linear chroma grading in the midtones. And if you want to know what the difference is between the linear chroma grading, the perceptual saturation grading, or the perceptual brilliance grading, be sure to check out my video up here where I explain to you what that is. Now, what I like especially about this module is that you can target different areas. So we can target the shadows or just the midtones or the highlights, or we can just target everything. And in this image, because we've got quite some things to work with, we've got the highlights and we've got some midtones, but also some shadows and everything needs to be balanced out. I'm going to increase the saturation in the shadows and I'm going to do the same thing for the midtones because I just know that the colors or most of the colors are there, but I'm going to decrease them in the highlights. And why is that? If you increase them, you see that this is starting to become blue, which is an unnatural color for the sky. And if I just decrease it slightly, then that looks much more natural without distorting the entire image. Now the same goes for the perceptual brilliance grading. It basically lightens or darkens your image. I want to pull up the shadows. I want to pull up the midtones, but I want to decrease the highlights once again. And let me show you a quick before and after. So here's the before, here's the after, and that already looks quite differently. Now because this image was just shot without me knowing what exactly I was doing, I need to crop it in post because nothing seems to look good right here. So I'm going to activate the crop module and I'm going to click the right mouse button and that will allow me to select any of these aspect ratios. In this case, I'm going to use the 16 by 9 HDTV. I'm just going to drag this down to make sure that the end of the road is going to match up with the lower thirds one. Close the crop module down and then the image automatically gets cropped. Right, then we're going to add in some local contrast and we are going to make this local indeed. Now I'm going to click here, HDR local tone mapping. I'm going to grab a brush because I don't want the entire image to look like this, but I do like the details in this road. So that's where I'm going to paint over with this brush to make sure that the effects are only visible on the road itself and not in the rest of the image. Now I'm going to increase it quite a bit to really bring it out. And just in case I'm going to feather and blur it. And now we see much more details in the road as it was when we were here in 2018 so this is actually a very old picture as well but now this is what makes this image special in my opinion we are going to go to the new module the color equalizer module we're going to activate it and i want to change the colors of the green right so i'm going to hold control and then click on this color picker right here and that allows you to select an area that you want to use in this graph for you to decide which area you need to work with now once you've done that it's just a matter of dragging these down and let's change the node placement as well to match up perfectly with this line right and now let's go to the saturation because what happens in this image is we've got several colors so i want to make sure that i get rid of the blues which are around here in this graph now let's click Control again and let's select this area just to be sure. So let's drag this down to decrease the saturation of this area. Right, the same goes for this area. We want to increase the saturation so that the effect is much stronger than without it. Now let's see a before and let's see an after. And that looks completely different. And then as a final touch to give this a little bit more pop, I'm going to use the graduated density filter. I'm going to activate it and I'm just going to drag this up here and make sure that it's around here because it's got an area that's being affected and an area that's not being affected, which you can also check by just increasing everything or decreasing everything to the max so that you know exactly which area will be affected. Now in this case, I want to darken the sky 
and I'm going to increase the hardness. And then let's look at the before and after. So here's a before, here's an after. And that just looks so much better because you see that this was a very cloudy day. So I really like to bring some mood into this image and that's how it's done.